Now, I'm pretty sure that most of you guys click this video for one of two reasons. The first being you've seen my past two videos where I tried on ugly clothes at Forever 21, and then I did the shopping challenge where I shopped for one of the ugliest outfits I could find at the mall. So you're probably like, why does this girl have such an obsession with ugly clothes? <laughs> or two, you're new to this channel, you just randomly saw this video, maybe saw the title, and was wondering what kind of idiot would spend a thousand dollars on ugly clothing. Well, either way, whatever brought you guys to this video, I am so happy to have you here. Hi, my name is Naomi, and today I'm gonna be doing a haul, but not just any haul. This haul is made up of seven, I think there's seven items, seven of the ugliest clothes I could find online at urbanoutfitters.com. A majority of these things are online exclusive, so that means you can't find them in store, you have to order them off the website, which I feel really makes this a bit more interesting. I do want to put a disclaimer out there that if you do think one of these items are cute, I am in no way wanting to make fun of you or your style. Um, I mean, if you could rock it, yo, you do you. Like, I salute that so much. So maybe I shouldn't call them ugly clothes and instead call them unusual because I'm pretty sure if you were to see someone wearing these clothes on the street, like out in public, you would do a double take and be like, Wait, what? <laughs> so this is also going to be kind of an unboxing because I have yet to open this giant package. Like, oh my gosh, it takes up the entire screen when I show this to you guys. Um, so let's just see what's inside. Oh, I love packages that are easy to open like this. So this is the inside of the box. We've got some that. Let's make sure all the items came. True. I am missing an item. That's awkward. It still hasn't even come. Um, so the total for these seven items um, was $974.81. Now that is with 13% Canadian tax and $10 shipping. Yeah, this is the common struggles of shopping online when you're a Canadian. So, let's see what's inside. Alright, so we have the items. I got my laptop just so I could read you guys the product descriptions because some of them were like interesting. So, the first item that I have is the Style Mafia Shirt Shoulder Corset Shirt. I feel like they could have added, you know, maybe like five or six more adjectives to describe it. But um, this is it. It comes with a piece of string and just totally unbuttoned front. By the way, this shirt was 169 Canadian dollars, which means for 169 dollars, I got like a DIY IKEA shirt. Wait, am I wearing this backwards? Like, why is the tag on the inside here? Maybe, because this does not really look right to me. All right, let's try the other side. Ugh. Okay, but if you have to wear it this way, then you definitely need like two people to wear this, like your own stylist or someone, because how else do you button this up yourself? Mom? Can you come help me? Yeah, so now we have to figure out what to do with this string. All right guys, I think this is, oh, you're gonna help me with this part too, true. To be honest, I kind of feel like a patient in a psychiatric ward. Um, and I really don't know why anyone would ever buy this or let alone spend over $100 on this. But you know, if there is one thing that we learned, it's that you cannot wear this shirt on your own because it's definitely a two person job. If this haul was a competition and I had to decide like a winner out of all these clothes on, which is like the ugliest item, I feel like this next pair of pants would take home the trophy, no questions asked. So these are actually a designer and it's a designer collaboration with Rihanna. They are the Puma Fenty by Rihanna oversized suspender sweatpants. And yeah, you know, when I saw it online, I was like, 
I need to try these on. And by the way, the price tag is $389. Yep, you heard that right, $389. Like, if you're a student, you could buy three textbooks for the price of this pants short thingamajiggy. So these pants are described as relaxing, gets a majority femme upgrade in these sweatpants from Rihanna's Fenty collection for Puma. Built from the softest cotton blend knit. I mean, I felt softer, but sure. In an oversized fit and high rise silhouette. Slouchy straight leg fit through the hips down to the banded ankle. Features a shorts upper with scalloped lace hems that are connected to the bottom leg via rushed Ruched, ruched, rushed bow suspenders. Finished with a drawstring waistband, side entry pockets, and a pouch pocket at the back. Why does it sound like I'm reading like a fancy restaurant menu? Like, you know when they serve you like literally spaghetti and meatballs and they try to make it all fancy? Like, served with uh, a tomato blend of meat. I don't even know. But yeah, when like a place is trying too hard to make something that's basic, sound high-end. I mean, I guess to sell these pants for $369, you have to do something like that. Um, and these actually have a review, so someone left a review on this, and they said, I love these, so flattering and hot. Okay, Lainey17920 AJDB, let's see how flattering and hot these actually are. Well, they say there's a first time for everything, and it's my first time wearing $400 pants. Or are they short pants? Pant shorts? I have no idea what you call them, but you know, um, they were right about them being super comfy because I am very comfortable. I'm feeling breezy, like my thighs are getting some air. Um, but you know, I, uh, I uh, still don't get the hype. You know what is a cool feature though, guys? You can unbutton the bottoms. So, you know, if you check the weather wrong um, and it's actually warmer outside than you thought it was gonna be, ugh, easy solution. Bam! Oh crap, I forgot two of the, the little buttons at the back. My bad. Boom. Shorts, okay, wow. You know, as shorts, they're actually kind of cool. The only thing is I don't know what you do with these little straps. Like there's nowhere to really clip it to or like tuck it in. So you're just gonna be walking around with like straps hanging from your bottom, which I mean, could be cool. But yeah, I mean like if Rihanna designed them, then you know, obviously they're cool. You know what? I'm even starting to, to feel like Rihanna. This next shirt was $159, which, you know, may seem like a lot, but it could double as a picnic blanket. Like, legit, I was like, wait, did I order a picnic blanket with this? Um, so this is the Style Mafia gingham tie sleeve shirt. Is this what it's like to be a human centipede? <laughs> I feel like I have like a thousand different arms. Now, of course, you're supposed to tie these, I'm pretty sure. I think I'm doing it right. Not entirely sure. Okay. There, sleeves have been tied. And that's that. I mean, I guess it's a good choice if you ever want to match your picnic blanket or picnic table or, yeah. It also looks pretty cool when you dab. They're tops, they're crop tops. And then there's the out from under long sleeve shrug, which is um, this. Shoulders and arms get cold, but maybe the rest of your torso is a bit hot and you know, want some fresh air. And you know, in, in cases like that, tops like this are very, very handy. 
Layer up the modern way for infinite possibilities with this long sleeve shrug by Out From Under, exclusively at UO. Rib knit shrug with lettuce edge hems. Looks so cute over tanks and slips. So cute with a tank or cami, right? That's what the reviews, the description, all that says. So here's my two. Here's my tank or cami or whatever you want to call it. Let's see how this looks. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, it's like, where's the rest of the shirt? It's really soft at least. There's literally like nothing to pull down, but I'm gonna pretend to. $22 for this top thing. Ooh, the back's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this isn't that bad. It's just like fashion forward, modern. Okay, yeah, this is not bad at all. Like I would definitely rock this in public. I honestly think I was just thrown off when I first bought it because I'm like, are you really trying to sell me like just the long sleeves and shoulder part of a shirt for $22. But for $22, I feel like they should attach it to a tanky cami and just come as one piece instead of you having to, you know, put it together yourself. to let my inner hulk go. So for any of you guys who have seen my last video, the ugly outfit challenge, arguably the ugliest item um, from that challenge was probably those furry pink Jeffrey Campbell slippers. Um, and I actually ordered all of these items before we filmed that video. And surprisingly enough, I actually ordered like rip off versions of that. These were actually only $18 compared to Jeffrey Campbell's $120. So I mean, if you did like the style, um, I would recommend getting these. I still think they're kind of ugly, no offense. Like the, these pearls look like eyeballs or nipples, one or the other. Let's see what we got next. Oh, this is an actually cute shirt I bought for myself because hey, if I was gonna spend $10 shipping on a bunch of ugly stuff, I might as well have added some items that I'd actually keep for myself. This is kind of cute. I'll show it in like a haul another day. Um, and then looks like this is the last item. I'm kind of disappointed. One of them is apparently still in the mail. I think it got lost in the mail because I got a notification that that shipped like way before all of this stuff did. Um, but yeah, for now, this is gonna be the last item that I have to show you guys. And it's the Kimchi Blue Rain Bell Sleeve Blouse. I honestly bought it because I wanted to know what it would be like to have butterfly wings, which is what these sleeves uh, pretty much resemble. This top was $69. Okay, keep your dirty jokes to yourself. And the Urban Outfitters website actually has like a section where they post like some of the Instagram pictures of people wearing these clothes. And it actually looks really cool. Like there are some bloggers out there who've pulled this off perfectly. Like it made me want to buy it. Um, but I don't think I could rock it as well as they will. So um, let's see. Okay, now I see why fashion bloggers are wearing this shirt because it can be done. It can be pulled off and is actually kind of cute when you wear it. I mean, it does still have some curtain-like similarities um, and, you know, reminds me of birds. I'm like a bird. I want to fly away. I don't know. I do really quickly want to give a special shout out to that final item that has yet to arrive. It's the Urban Renewal Recycled Spliced Button Down Shirt. Um, so it's basically made from like recycled materials, which is amazing. Like, yes, I love that concept so much. But like, did you really have to um, create like a half and half style? Like, I mean, I guess it's good because you could wear it like twice on Instagram, posing in like different angles and it looks like you're wearing two different shirts. But, um, yeah, I just don't get the style. So it looks like that is the end of this haul. I guess you could call it a haul. You know, thankfully, Urban Outfitters has a great return policy, so I really don't think I'm gonna be keeping any of these items. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know that I'm going a bit overboard with this whole ugly outfit, ugly clothes theme so don't worry this will be the end of it unless you guys want more if you do leave a comment down below um but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye so don't let this be our final song oh.